Hey YouTube, I am coming to give y'all a video. Um, this is going to be about what degree should I pick. Um, so, sorry if I'm snotty, got a little chest congestion going on, but, excuse me. I start school in January for my MBA, um, and I've already been accepted into the school and everything, but... This lady at work was talking about how at my job, if you are going to school for engineering, they will give you, um, I guess like paid time off or whatever to do your engineering degree. And so I just typed in online engineering degree because I'm trying to do something that's online. And I saw a master's degree that I'd never heard of before, which was a master's in engineering management. Which I thought was interesting because I work in electrical engineering and electrical mapping. But I had never heard of that degree before. And so I did some research and um, what was it? Arkansas State University and Wichita State University are two schools that I found that offer it online. And it's actually a pretty cheap program. I was looking at that part of it because I'm like, oh, tuition reimbursement will cover everything for the price of the Masters of Engineering Management versus with the Masters of Business Administration. I'm going to have to cough up money for tuition, books, and some fees. I think I'll have to cover like five grand of my tuition. Um, all of my books and some fees versus with if I were to do the MEM at say Arkansas State University I'd only have to pay for books and fees and no tuition and my tuition reimbursement at my job would cover everything and their program was saying that you could have it done in 14 months versus <laughs> the MBA is a two-year program they're both master's degrees, but my only thing that's kind of holding me up from even contacting Arizona, not Arizona, Arkansas State, is the fact that um, I plan on teaching, honestly, with my MBA, and I don't know if I can, I mean, I know you can teach with a master's, I do know that, um, with the education that I have right now. I should be able to teach um, drafting classes as well as um, business classes like organizational development, leadership, conflict resolution, um, marketing, um, and I think it's a couple other ones that I should be able to teach technically with that degree because I have my associate in drafting and my bachelor's is business administration and I was going to do my MBA and I'm going to do my MBA I believe but it was just something that kind of had me like hmm I honest to God have never heard of a master's in engineering management um and so I've been watching videos on YouTube and it's nobody actually talking in my opinion it's people who work for the university or who were students of the university, so I'm pretty sure they're kind of operating off of a script, whether it's a tight script or a loosely based script. But, um, so yeah, have you ever heard of a master's in engineering management? And what do you think about that? Um, it was saying that basically if you want to work in, sorry, I keep moving the phone, if you want to work in engineering, um, I think procurement, project management, um, and anything that's kind of like technical, that that would be a good degree, considering the fact that I've been working in engineering now for over 10 years, and I don't see me getting out of engineering, um, anytime in the near future. I would like to sometimes, and then sometimes I don't. It just, I don't know. So we'll see. But even, even if I didn't technically work in the engineering department, I would still be at the utility company. So, um, 
a lot of those things that they say that that degree will work for, I think would actually still work with me functionally and everything like that. Because, like, it deals with, like, quality assurance and quantitative analysis and things like that. So, I don't know. It's like, do I save some coins and take that route? But then, like, you know, then you got to think about, like, my mama would want to go to a graduation. And let's be honest, I'm not driving to Jonesboro, Arkansas to go graduate. You could just mail me my uh, diploma in the mail and I'll be happy. But my mother would want a graduation, um, at least with Wichita State, if I were to go there. Wichita from Kansas City. I mean, this phone is not operating right. I'm sorry. But <laughs> Wichita from Kansas City is like a three-hour drive. I don't know how far Jonesboro, Arkansas is. But... I don't see me doing it just because I was looking on LinkedIn and I, re I was looking up other people who had worked for some of my previous employers, for th which are engineering firms, and there were actually several engineers who had MBAs. So that right there for me was reassuring. But then I also like the fact that um, the main reason why I started going back to school was to kind of make myself recession proof. Um, in engineering, it's an up and down field. So like every seven years or pretty much every presidential election, budgets get cut or budgets get ignored. And when budgets get cut or ignored and funding is not distributed, engineering firms cannot get jobs because people flat out don't have the funding because typically the federal government gives um, local utility companies funding to help them fund um, improvements to their utility and so if you don't have the money to build your power plant and your substations and your transmission and distribution you can't get a bid and if you can't get a bid you can't keep your employees employed and so like right when I started working for my first employer um, I went permanent what was that February of 2008 February 2008 went permanent and like no lie like by April they were in like big layoff big big layoff and so um I avoided that um I left my last employer well, not the last not the, not my current one but the one after my first one so my second employer in engineering I um resigned from that position July 2015, um, I think like, what was it, maybe, it was sometime in 2016, they started doing a whole bunch of layoffs, um, and I think it was kind of more of a cleaning house type deal, but they did a big round of layoffs, and that was also around presidential election. <laughs> people don't realize that whenever they are switching presidents um engineering is like the last thing on somebody's budget and on their mind which I totally get you know you can still function with what you have it may not be the most environmentally sound thing for the moment but it will function and it will work until you can get to that budget so because of that and that's why I like being at the utility company. Um, at the utility, I don't have to worry about budgets as far as, oh, God, we didn't get enough jobs. Am I going to still have my job come next week? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's guaranteed. There's always something to do. So that's kind of one of the things I do like about the utility. But that was the entire reason why I started going back to school was because I noticed that, <coughs> I'm sorry, every... I'm going to say seven years because typically most presidents serve two terms, which would give them eight years. But typically the first year of a president's presidency, funding does not go out for <coughs> power plants and stuff like that. So because that's the situation, <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat is really itching, y'all. But because of that, I decided, okay. If I had to go get another job, there's not much I can do with the drafting degree because all I can do with that degree is draft. So I would end up having to work maybe customer service or something like that. And 
I don't know about y'all, but I can't live off 10 to 15 bucks an hour. There's nothing I can do with that. So, just being honest and being realistic. So, because I know I cannot afford to live off of that, I decided to go back to school. So, I'm like, all right, push come to shove. I can go get a job someplace else. <clears throat> and because I already have a one-sided degree, I wanted a degree that was multifaceted. So, I did business administration because you can do management, accounting, finance, um, human resources, marketing. Um, you can also be like a uh, training and development person. So it's a whole lot of stuff that you can do with that degree. So because of that, that's why I chose business administration. And so, yeah, this is getting like really, really long and drawn out for me just asking y'all. Have you ever heard of a master's in engineering management? Because I had never heard of that before. So, if you've actually watched this whole thing, thank you. But, um, you know, comment down below. What do you think about a master's in engineering management? What would you do if you had gotten this information? Because, mind you, I don't start school back until January. I think, like, January 8th. And it's November, so I still got a couple of months but I am scheduled to start. I know which online group I'm in for the college that I'm going to. It's a local university. But, you know, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am sorry that this video was so long. But I was just trying to give y'all some insight and some detail to what I was thinking. So, thank you all so much for watching.